Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days uh, for today's video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of May. And we'll be actually set up beyond that with the said GFS and ECM Ensemble because they are around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us into early June. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. I just want to say thank you so much for the uh, latest uh, super thanks that uh, came through with yesterday's uh, video, the Long Range Special. So uh, thank you so much to you, Harvey Harbour, for uh, the super thanks and for your lovely comment. Uh, I'm glad you're getting better, gal. Take care. Thank you so much, Harvey. That's incredibly kind, my friend. Thank you so much for the lovely comment and also for your uh, super thanks. If you'd like to give a super thanks and have your comment highlighted, and, uh, you know, can I mention videos? All you need to do is click the uh, thanks button here. That's underneath the video, underneath all the videos uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, click the thanks button and, uh, you know, you can give a donation and also have your comment highlighted and uh, you'll get mentioned in the video. Thank you so much uh, to all of you uh, for doing that. And special thanks, of course, to Harvey. Uh, right, okay, shall we get on with the video then? I'm uh, going to begin by having a look at social intention for CT. It's currently standing at 12.4, that is 2.5 degrees above average, uh, and that's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 8th of uh, May. So, very warm uh, for, uh, first week to May, definitely. Temperatures um, like 2 uh, degrees above average. That's 6190, it wouldn't be quite as warm as that uh, with a more modern average, but nevertheless, still. Uh, a pretty warm first week to the month, and uh, there's more weather, to, more more warm weather to come. Uh, we can see with the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles of Birmingham for the next couple of weeks uh, that uh, we're going to be going significantly warm on average through the third week of the month. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average. Um, we're around average or around a little bit above average at the moment. We're actually going to drop down to average. Um, over the next few days. So temperatures will cool a little bit actually this week. But look how they take off at the end of the week, into the weekend, particularly on into next week, becoming really very warm. Maybe you will say even a little bit hot there through uh, for a time through the early part of next week before into the last week of May. So extended range, of course, so unreliable, but into the last week of May, possibly seeing those uh, upper air temperatures cooling down again. But uh, right at the peak, uh, of the uh, lift up in temperature, which is going to be around the 17th to the 19th of May, um, we go up to around 10 Celsius or more uh, at 850 HPA. That could well be enough to lift the temperature into the mid to possibly even upper 20 Celsius. So our first sort of very warm to maybe even quite hot spell could be coming up um, next week. But bear in mind, before that, it's going to be a little bit cooler actually. Uh, through uh, through the middle and second half of this week. Precipitation-wise, quite a lot of dry weather. Uh, there will be some wet weather, though, coming up uh, around midweek, and then it goes drier again under high pressure into the uh, end of week, weekend, early next week. Possibly a bit of a hint, but it gets a bit more unsettled here into the last week of May. But again, of course, that is very, very extended and rather unreliable. Temperature anomalies is the uh, temperature anomalies from the uh, 9th to 17th of May uh, above average, a little bit above average. So it's not as warm as it has been, I don't think, in the second week of May compared to the first week of May. Nevertheless, still coming out slightly above average. However, and precipitation anomalies from the 9th to 17th of May uh, drive an average, more particularly for central, southern, and eastern areas, a little bit on the wet side though in the far northwest of Scotland. Latest wind from that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that uh, we, uh, we're bringing lower pressure in from off the Atlantic towards the UK and Ireland and starting to draw in uh, something of a southerly wind. So this is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Thursday. High pressure just beginning to uh, ease a little bit by then. Uh, although some is reaching the south, so in the south it never really turns unsettled this week. It will, you know, turn more unsettled in the north, but in the south that reach at 1,020 millibar um, uh, isobar, you know, that carries on there into the south, even into the end of the week, meaning that pressure remains relatively high down south, even to the end of the week. And over the weekend, that high pressure sort of reinflates, reforms, over top of the country, taking us into the early part of next week, which is midnight Monday, uh, where we've got a big high pressure sat, uh, sat uh, you know, sat, sitting over and to our east, northeast, low pressure out to west, 
and we're drawing up this southerly southeast wind. But it does look pretty warm, actually. So that's lifting up temperature and uh, turning a lot warmer with that. This is how uh, Icon is looking. Again, a bit of a chop pushing through on Thursday. Uh, rather unsettled, particularly in the north on Friday. And then into the weekend, high pressure again building over the country, bringing lots of dry weather. And that carries on into the early part of next week as well. With high pressure to our north and east, lower pressure out to west. Again, bringing up this southerly southeast wind. And there will be showery rain into western and southwestern areas as well. So the GFS midnight run is looking trough of low pressure pushing through the country at the end of the week. And then into the weekend, high pressure builds up from the south, taking over across the country, bringing lots of dry and fine weather. And that high pressure carries on dominating weather into the early part of next week. And with time, we draw up a much warmer southerly flow through the early to middle part of next week. Upper air temperature showed plus 10 Celsius ice worm, pushing northwards plus 15 Celsius ice worm into northern parts of France uh, as well. So again, that could well have temperatures into the mid 20 Celsius, at least possibly even higher uh, than that. In my extended range, um, you know, high pressure just continues to be uh, the dominating factor for more southern areas as well. So never truly turning unsettled into more southern areas, to be honest. Uh, northern areas will turn a little bit more unsettled, but overall high pressure remains quite dominant even in towards the final stages of the month with this GFS run. GFS 6Z, uh, again, looking like this. Trough of low pressure in off the Atlantic, affecting northern areas in particular at the end of the week. And then over the weekend, that area of high pressure takes over uh, across the coast, bringing lots of dry and fine weather. High pressure to our east zone next week. Low pressure to the west, bringing up this southerly South Easterly flow that carries on all the way up to day 10 as well. Plus 10 cells ice worm through England and Wales in particular. Middle of next week again could easily get temperature into the uh, mid 20 Celsius, maybe even higher than that. Uh, into day 10, uh, top low pressure just started moving off the Atlantic then. Possibly bring some uh, rain in from west, maybe in some thunder. Um, but look at this, very quick back into high pressure once more. Um, so the emphasis is on high pressure, definitely, as we're going into the uh, second half of May. Um, you know, this warm and dry spell looks like it's set to continue even into the second half of month. That's how we finish up with the GFS 6 then, still under that area of high pressure. Being on to GM, and if you enjoyed the video, please can smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. And drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Uh, thank you so much. GM, again, looking rather showery on Thursday. It was some quite wet weather then. Maybe even a little bit of rain down into the south. But not long into the weekend before high pressure builds across the country again. High pressure reinflating, dominating weather through the weekend into the early part of next week. However, by day 10, the GM is much more unsettled. Bringing low pressure in off the Atlantic. That will bring quite a bit of rain in from the west. Uh, with it as well. So the GM, you know, looks much more unsettled around day 10. Other models don't look that unsettled, GM. There'll be an outlier there, I think, by around day 8, 9, 10. And then the ECMWF, uh, once more, a bit showery on Thursday, especially for the north. And then over weekend, the high pressure intensifying through the country, with lots of dry and fine weather early next week. The high pressure is up towards Scandinavia, low pressure out in the Atlantic, brings up this southerly South Easty flow, that's quite a warm southerly and South Easty flow too. Could well lift the temperature into mid 20 Celsius. There's the upper air temperatures showing that plus 15 Celsius ice worm as into the far southeastern corner. And then heading on up towards day 10. A little bit more unsettled with these west southwestern winds, the Scotland and Northern Ireland, but for England and Wales, under a ridge of high pressure, mainly dry and uh, reasonably fine and quite warm weather continuing down there and if we could run on it and if we could run on any further which we can't but if we could i suspect we will find that ridge of high pressure intensifying again actually uh beyond day 10. this is the precipitation forecast based on that east run from redshow.com so rain in the north and west uh today not all that much showing the south and southeast um over the next few days there some showy bursts coming again particularly for, for more northern and western areas not as much down in the south and in the southeast, of course, high pressure takes over uh, properly up the end of week into weekend. So all areas turning dry 
Uh, but I'm trying to get through to the open up next week, so maybe showers, maybe a bit of thunder breaking out for western areas. That's a little bit suggestive of thunderstorms there uh, by the time you get through to around the 17th of May, uh, for example. Quite a warm and stable air mass. And uh, it looks like it stays a little bit showering then up towards day 10. But uh, in the south, I think, again, we're probably going to be struggling to get all that much in the way of rain, you know, for those more southern counties. These are the options on the table. Within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 gets us to the 19th of May. 27 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure over Scandinavia and to our east. Low pressure is out to west, drawing up this very warm, southerly uh, wind. So, um, yeah, you know, it looks like there's a lot of dry weather in with that and pretty warm too. 24 uh, members of the ECM ensembles, including the control and the operational run, have high pressure just a little bit further southeastwards. Perhaps low pressure slightly closer to it. It could be a little bit more unsettled with that. But to be honest, even there, a reasonable amount of dry and uh, and quite warm weather. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 24th of May. 19 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to our north and bringing in this westy wing. So that's cooler and more showering. 12 have high pressure sort of slipping a little bit towards the south southwest. Um, but still in control uh, for more southern areas, so mainly driving south, perhaps a little bit more showering in the north. 11 with uh, low pressure to our east, high pressure to our west and southwest, um, bringing in the wind from a northwesterly direction, so rather cool and showery uh, with that one. And then 9 with a ridge of high pressure from the Azores to Scandinavia. That will bring the driest weather, of course, and probably the warmest uh, weather on offer with that option as well. So by the uh, by the final week of, of May, there is a range of options uh, to go at. Um, could turn more unsettled, but of course, at such an extent range, two weeks out, um, there's no guarantees. Lastly, the set of SV2, these are 500 millibar high and orange breaking down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer will take us from the 9th to 15th of May. The coming week will have high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. Most showery weather will be in the north. The driest weather will be in the south. Then high pressure builds strongly for week two, which is the 16th to 22nd of May, uh, with high pressure through the country, bringing loads of dry. And uh, you will think increasingly warm weather as we draw the wind up from the south with that. Week 3 is going to be the uh, 23rd to 29th of May. Uh, high pressure that's weakening a little bit by then. Trough road pressure digging into Scandinavia. Could be trying to turn a bit cooler and a bit more showery, let's say, into the last week of May. Uh, but then always week 4, which is the 30th of May to 5th of June, takes uh, or brings the high pressure back. High pressure forming both over and to the east of the country. And again, up come those warm southerly or southeasterly winds. So, a lot of anti cyclonic weather to come over the next four weeks if uh, the CFS run today is correct. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the smash like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, drop a comment or so much about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, we're done then. Uh, so that's it for today, 10 to 14 day. We'll do it all over again um, tomorrow. So uh, keep checking back uh, to the channel for more content. But for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.